Hello, it's uh, Chris and Derek here from Petty's Hot Rods and Customs. Uh, we're uh, going to be working on the 79 Camaro. Let's see, we got carpet, brand new carpet. We got two brand new mufflers. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the seats out uh, right now and carpet comes out the sill plates what's left of this one comes out we'll clean it check it out for rust the floor um then the we'll put new carpet in we're going to be painting the console we're going to tr try to paint that black so we'll get some um, good uh spray dye or it's basically spray paint i think that's your sort of plastic dye thing. Yeah. Okay. Plastic dye, and then we'll paint that. Paint that. Uh, yeah, and hopefully there's no rust. Derek just took a quick look underneath, and the floor plans pans look very nice. So. They do. Which I'm surprised. Yeah. It was a good investment. Yep. So, just spray lubing the bolts right now, so... We're gonna get working on this since it's uh, still nice nice out. We're not huddled it. Well, we're in the garage now, but we haven't brought the Studebaker home to work on that. So we're working on this until that comes. And yeah, get some, maybe do the, get the exhaust done before we, uh, park this and maybe get it running a little better get rid of the carburetor or clean rebuild the carburetor one of those things and yeah i would like to get it running better but if i can i would like to be able to move both vehicle shuffle them around for a little bit yeah maybe. yeah before it gets really really cold so we can move shit in and out that's the plan get this thing nice and i snapped one <laughs> mm. Oh wow, that's okay. Yeah, new carpet. It'll make it smell better and look a lot better. Yeah. Nice molded carpet from Rock Auto. All right, I gotta give Derek a hands. Hey, right. so slowly progressing. We got the passenger seat unbolted. Two of the bolts snapped, two came out really easy. This one, one front bolt snapped, one bolt come out easy. Uh, having a bitch to get the rear because the seat track is seized on this side. So we can't move the seat forward to get at the bolts. So Derek's trying to get a, a wrench in there and with the track, over top of the bolt it's not good and you can't get underneath because it's a well you know, it's a welded in nut so what a pain in the butt so we were even trying to hammer on the seat to move it forward and it wouldn't so we're struggling with that so that's fun camera work here what Keep struggling because we'll have to fix a fix at least two bolt holes there and probably two bolt holes here before we put the carpet in. Okay, we're resorting the cutting, grinding. Okay. Watch that cable break. Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. We'll put a grinding stone. It's got a cutter on there right now. So let's see. 
some cardboard guy down there. Yep. There's a grinding stone somewhere in that vicinity. Is there one right? Or is that a cutting? That's cutting. Okay. You want a solid yeah, I stone? Oh, okay. Yeah. That looks like one. Know. Everything you need in a garage on one spot. Except for that spot, that spot, that spot, and that spot. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. He's gonna have to grind the bo last two bolt, bottom back or back two bolts. We tried hammering on the seat. Nope. Prying it. Nope. Front seats, back seats are all out. Didn't find much change. Couple loonies, a couple nickels, and a dime, and a couple pennies. Yeah, light. And we're just taking the console off. This is a little crusty. We'll get that's just a cover. That's not the sill there. It's, just, it's a cover that goes over the sill that just unbolts uh, the rest looks fine underneath it so far so we'll wait until you pull the console and pull the carpet and see what the floor entails but didn't find gold found some broken glass Broken glass and a pen. Okay, just the shifter boot and that. And hopefully that comes out easy. I'm not sure. Under here, there might be something. It looks like there's something under there. Carpet. And we think we got all the bolts out. what we can use on this dash because it's it's been faded from the sun it's sort of got a whiteness to it if anyone knows what we can use on that to bring it back or attempt to bring it back let us know okay we'll uh, clean off all our tools and then uh, see if we can pull the carpet out we made two dollars and fifty cents so far two dollars and fifty cents for the change Okay. Oh, it's stuck underneath the uh, the heating. Oh, 
screwed somewhere up here. Oh, there we go. It's just stuck underneath the heating duct and, okay. and gas pedal. I got one hole here. Yeah, I've got issues up front here. I've got uh oh yeah I'm gonna have to put uh, some time into the floor yeah just the front yeah. it looks like So. I think it works. This side definitely works. Yeah? Oh, yeah. My side's not as bad as your side. I guess that was it off the window, I think, for you. Yep. Yeah. I think the window is leaked and. There's the body plug. <laughs> no, I was hoping there was just going to be some uh, minor little uh, holes to fix. Good back here. Except there's a piece of wire in here. Pick that up. I don't care about it. The back one all easy. Yeah, I got issues here. Ooh, this one's been uh looks like it's been fixed before. Look at this. Someone uh <laughs> someone smeared it. Yeah, that's not a fact. Yeah, we got Yep. Built some floor plans. Ooh, more money. Another loony. Another, loony, another nickel. We got a penny. Yep. Yeah. Another penny. And if you haven't know, don't know, pennies are useless in Canada. You know, that side's nice, but someone went and uh, smeared the whole thing. And it, and it looked like someone it someone jacked on it or punched. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cut it there, so. Hmm. Well. Let's see about maybe. I don't know. Like, it feels like the bottom feels fine. It's. But I don't know why someone goop. Like, they just layered the goop on there. Like. I don't know. But this bottom doesn't seem. No, the bottom looks nice. I didn't see up there from the angle. I've never looked. Yeah, up. I'm wondering, was this a, 
Did someone replace it? What? And then they just gooped the whole... No? I don't know. That just looks weird. But it's... I don't know. It looks the same goop that's on the... Uh, the tunnel here. Almost a different color. They always rush out right here. Yeah. That's really weird. This is usually right there. Mm. It's actually a good shape. And this yeah. is why your emergency brake cable fuses up to the moisture in here. Oh, yeah, they get it. Yep. Yeah. Eh, too late with that. Yeah. I don't know if you can make our own patch panel or... Uh, we can. I don't know how bad the rust is on, on here. Because this is... Well, oh yeah, this is... I just cut that out. That looks bad. This is bad. Yeah, because I, if I push too hard, my fingers will go through it. But the only... The issue is just because it's raised up here. So that's... That factory. Yeah. Trying to make that by hand, it's... We can see, we can... Okay, we should basically cut, cut this right out right here. This is all punky. Yeah. I can tell by it. Yeah, that's... Yeah, not in the world too. Yeah. Yeah, this one has to go probably back to here. Yeah, a little more than what we hoped and expected. Okay, uh, we're in our junkyard. Uh, we decided not against not uh, <laughs> buying brand new uh, floor pans because we looked them up and yeah they're expensive uh if you live in the states they're okay but when you convert them and add shipping up to canada here they're just um yeah not not what we were gonna go through so we looked in this car and the front looks good over that side looks okay might have a little bit of issues but we can fix that I uh, still got to clean the floor, and I'm not touching that yet, but I, wish I'm there. I don't know. There could be anything from uh, coyote poop to... Okay. I'll go so, find Yeah, we'll uh, get rid of all the dirt and start uh, and start hacking this out. Because this side looks nice. Yeah, how far do we got to hack up? Here, here. Um, this was the worst, right? This was the worst. I'm thinking up to here. Okay. I got pictures of it, but... Okay. I'll go find gloves. Okay. Things go way back too far. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, there's a br well, there's a brace here. Yeah, well, there's a whole brace in there. Yeah. Can... I'm just hoping we can just quickly cut it out and cut through the bracing and yeah. cut all the way up to there, across there. I guess this one too will kick this off and see if I cut through. Yep. Yeah, and this, this car is uh, rotten. The body's rotten. The floor is in decent shape. Just because it's been sitting here with no doors, with no carpet in it, so it didn't hold any moisture. The only issue is right there, which maybe we might not. We need that pan, but yeah, we might not deal with that pan. We might just fix what we have to do on the original one. I got to cut the piece bigger than that. Yeah. 
back to the material. Yeah, there's nothing, not much left of this, just a few parts. Yeah, because it goes, there's the floor, well, there's two layers of this, at least. Do I cut the rocker panel too? Um, I don't know. All right, I'll continue cutting there, and then I'll... Yeah. 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 I'm hoping you can get the blade in far enough to go through both. I can't. I, but, got, I got somehow punctured. Yeah. Yeah. Well, for... Okay, we've got uh, a quarter of a floor done. <laughs> we cut cut all, quite a bit out. As you can see, the frame has been disconnected. Uh, it's just because we, uh, we're working in a junkyard. Uh, we got cutting tools. We don't have much more, so. We decided to cut big. Uh, that side, we're gonna cut a little bit smaller. There is some rust in this floor right around there a bit, but. I just want this part. This part I don't care about. That, yeah. Uh, this part's good. Yeah. So, so I'm hoping just to go. I know there's double here. I'll have to play with that. Yeah. Um, I'm not taking the whole section out again. No. No, not, not this time. No. Not if we don't have it. I'm getting too old for that. <laughs> Yeah, because there's a brace, there's spot welds right on the edge of that, so. Ooh, lucky. I don't have to cut it. No? Because I have to frame my, my mount bolt right here. Oh, okay. I think. If it might be just the brace for the the e-brake cable there yeah that spot welded up up there okay that I, i'm okay with that it's if i gotta cut that with the uh grinder because yeah it screws up the uh, base. is there yeah okay we're back from uh pulling out the pans of our uh, part one of our parts cars uh we haven't separated this we still have all this junk to cut out um but that's the two pans this one was a little bit worse it, it was rotten here so we're gonna have to deal with that just we're not gonna put a license plate in there no, no. 
but uh, you can see the floor. It, what we got back here. here. Yeah, so what we're planning on doing is basically cutting it up to here, cutting it along here, and then along the edge there. And then we'll cut the other one to fit. Uh, the problem with this one is this. That's a brace. Uh, that's a thicker brace. When you go, go up there, there's a, a body mount there. So we don't want to touch the body mount, so we're going to cut it somewhere here. Uh, replace this brace, inner brace first, with the one off that. We'll have to cut it off and drill out spot welds. Put weld that in and then cut the, the floor pan and make that fit. Uh, the edge here, uh, we're just going to, because we're just going to cut it along there. And it's basically... It looks like that it's been welded like that the factory we're just going to cut it like that and put a little l bracket in there in the bottom or then the top same with this side it's uh it's good this part's good it's just up there this is the part we're missing right here and it's good thing is it's fairly flat there so that won't be an issue or too much of an issue yeah um biggest issue is the e-brake cable yeah um but we're pretty sure it's seized so we're gonna have to replace that anyways uh and then we gotta worry about brake lines underneath here <laughs> so it'll be uh tricky cutting and even more tricky welding stuff uh we're just gonna have to watch that and i think we are going to replace the um, emergency brake cable yeah yeah we priced price out the whole emergency brake cable it's fairly cheap it's like it'll probably be like 60 bucks canadian for from here to the all the way to the back so easy a couple bolt holes will bolts that were snapped off we'll have to fix this is the best cover that we could find in our junkyard out of well out of this car and two other cars this is the best one uh that side looks perfect yeah but the driver's side we just got so we're gonna use it until we find something better um uh, the sill plate covers it so it'll look fine uh no issues with the back here we looked underneath no issues back here it looks good actually yeah it's all nice in there except for some broken glass yeah. yeah uh no issues in the trunk so that's good uh the only other issue we have is right here a little bit of rust uh but we're just gonna cut a piece out of the one of our uh, parts cars and just splice it in but uh, yeah, I think we're gonna end this video here because I think the next video will start hacking and slashing the floors out and hopefully do that all in one video because I don't want to make this no. too long because I want to do that fairly proper. Well, well, that and we'll have this inside the garage. We'll yeah, warm. yeah, we, it's outside the garage now, so. So thanks for watching and subscribe and all that comment all that tell your friends and we'll uh yeah we'll get to the floor in the next video probably we'll be uh slicing and dicing and cursing hope, hope you a new carpet well yeah then yeah ho hopefully the carpet will go in <laughs> yeah if if, it, if that goes all good <laughs> the carpet will go in <laughs> otherwise yeah uh, headaches yeah We'll have to see if we can uh, paint this stuff. I'm kind of wondering if we can kind of knock the chalkness off of yeah. it and paint it. And just paint it. Well, that's about it for us, so thanks for watching.